through the window of her West Baltimore row home. I didn't think she, nothing would never happen in my, get, in my family, but I see it could, it did. Vivian Neely's yeah. eyes. So that's why I'm, I'm away, I watch everything now. Try not to let nothing get, get out of my eyesight. Grow weary mm -hmm. with the pain. Every gunshot. Jeez, just get nervous. Every siren. Can't hardly breathe when that happens. Takes her back. It was just like yesterday. To that crisp November night. Every time it hits somebody, he gets shot, it brings me back to her. One year ago. Mm -hmm, five. He just had the birth of five. It was from that same window, propped open with a hammer, she watched as her five year old great granddaughter was shot by a stray bullet. Yeah, I made it. The man is yeah. A still baby doll and change from the corner store. Images imprinted on a prayerful community as another child fights for her life in the city of Baltimore. It was four months earlier that seven-year-old Taylor Hayes was shot and killed while riding in the backseat of a car. She's always talking about Taylor like Taylor's still here. Taylor was Amy's big sister. Is she coming back? I said, no, Amy, she's not coming back. The wave of horror hit the family as a bullet hit another haze. One year later, as Neely looks out the window, she still thinks about Taylor, but is thankful for one more chapter. Yeah, that's what I told her. I said, you made it. With Amy. I love you, pretty. I said, God didn't take both of y'all. He only needed her right then. Happier days from her new home on Wilkins Avenue. Six-year-old Amy, a girl who many thought would never walk, can now run with her new puppy, Pretty. On this night, we asked her about one year ago. She remembers. I got shot. But she doesn't want to talk about it. But her life is one worth talking about. God paid me. He let her live. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. That was all the pay I need. A little girl who survived against all odds. Well, it doesn't change the view from Miss Neely's window. Amy's life offers a whole new perspective. In West Baltimore, Joy Lambert, Fox 45 News.